there's a nice confined out here. Um, we call it the gravel pit. I don't ever report it that way since it's a little bit of a generic name that airplane guys, I guess, probably wouldn't know what I'm talking about. So I usually just say maneuvering two to the southeast or something like that. There's a valley here, the Green River Valley. Um, planes come up and down this valley all the time. So it's kind of one of those uh, be alert type of areas. Um, just look left and right as people trying to cut through and avoid SeaTac's Bravo airspace, which is above us. Auburn traffic helicopter A11 Tango Tango will be maneuvering at or below 1,000 feet, two miles southeast of the field, Auburn. I don't see any planes coming up the valley. I don't see any planes coming down the valley. I don't see any other helicopters in the area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my high reconnaissance, my high surveillance. So what this... traffic warrior 4247 South Tango, stack to the 3-4, Auburn. Cool. Uh, this... This sort of high reconnaissance here, about 500 AGL or so, is about identifying the suitability of the area for landing. That's what the FAA says. And it, what that actually means in, in practical terms is you're looking for trash, people, animals, um, big puddles of water, mud, you know, anything that would make it not an optimal uh, landing site. Now, I've been here dozens and dozens of times, um, so I know that generally speaking, it's a great place to go, but Things can change. I'm going nice and slow, about 50 knots, getting a nice look in that area. It looks empty. I don't see anything new there. That looks good. I know the wind is coming. The what wind we do have is coming out of the south. So I'm going to make an approach to the south from the north. So. This can be like a left downwind that I'm on here. This site looks good. Oh, it's a Sunday morning. It's about 11. It's not super early, but I don't want to go buzzing houses on a nice weekend morning. Different on a weekday. I guess in COVID, it doesn't matter. Everyone's probably home anyway. But uh, I don't want to bother people on the weekend. So I'm going to make a slightly smaller pattern here. A left turn. Auburn Municipal Airport Automated Oops. Advisory. Wind, calm, temperature, 1, 6, Celsius, Duplo, 1, 3, Celsius, Altimeter, 3, 0, 4, 8. There is our spot. We're going to make a steep approach into that area. Start by slowing us down. And the thing about steep approach is we want to make sure that we have ETL or we have a descent rate of less than 300 feet. Either one of those will keep us out of a settling with power situation. So as I start bleeding off speed, I'm going to raise collective a little bit. I want to arrest my descent rate as I start falling into um, that below ETL speed. Right. So a little bit of forward. Right about here, I'm going to lift up with the collective, and I do see the VSI needle climbing. So we're good. We're good. Keeping our descent rate nice, nice and slow. Nice and slow, looking great, looking great. Bringing it right in. This is good, this is good stuff, good stuff right here. That's a kind of steeper than normal steep approach maybe, depending, but you know, if you're approaching into a building or a, an actual pinnacle or something, that's, that's what you want to do. You want to kind of avoid all those you know, the mechanical turbulence and the updrafts coming off the side of the, the building or the side of the hill. And that's, that's what this is all about. So now what I do want to do is we're going to do a max performance out of here. And I'm going to try to come around and do an approach from the other side. We have calm winds, so either direction should be fine. Um, max performance, what that means is we want to check the temperature. It's about 60, so we have a max manifold pressure of 26 inches. We're going to get close to the ground, keep us as much in ground effect as possible. I'm going to roll the throttle to the top of the green. Get as much power as we can. We're ready to go. I'm going to lift up on the collective. We're favoring vertical over horizontal to start with. So let's get us up and over the 50-foot obstacle. Auburn, Once Airport, we're clear of the obstacle, we can ease Wind, forward. Calm, temperature, 1, 6, Celsius, 2.1, 2, Celsius, Altimeter, 3, yeah, 0, yeah. 4, 8. Let's keep three miles to the northeast. We'll be hearing air breakdown wind for 0, 5, 
there might have been a fire down in that lower area. Let's take a look at it when we come back around. We're going to do a landing to the north this time. Like I said, calm winds. I don't know what the conditions will be on the day of the check ride, so I might as well get familiar with both directions here. I do the same thing. I like doing those those deep approaches. Um, even if I won't necessarily do it that steep with my students the first time, it's um, just... Traffic warrior 42477, take care, runway 34, left out departure, Albert. Okay, here's our left turn. Auburn traffic helicopter 811 Tango Tango is two miles to the southeast, maneuvering at or below 1,000 feet, Auburn. Okay, we got our spot. A little high. We can fix that. Lowering the collective. Also lowering a little bit of throttle. We'll get our, our uh, altitude a little bit down. But it looked like this little tree area, about a quarter mile in front of me, might have, there might have been a fire in there, a small one, luckily. Oh, that needle. Auburn traffic, moving 6495 Hotel, departing on my 34 with a left down my So we're, we're looking pretty good right about here. So it can be a little bit deceiving from this side because the terrain slopes down. But we're all good. So I'm going to slow myself down. I'm going to lift up with the collective a little bit to arrest my descent rate as we start getting below ETL. Lifting the collective, making sure that VSI needle stops dropping. We're not settling. We're just going to kind of bring it on down, bring it on down. A little hot on the RPMs, we can fix that. And rate of 300 feet per minute, looking great, looking, looking awesome. This looks really good. There we go. So good. Love this helicopter stuff. Fourth and seven, thirty left downwind for three four. Auburn. I feel ground effect getting a little lighter. Uh, there traffic is 41 Delta taking off with a 3-4, straight out Auburn. Good stuff. Now we know that there's a very slight incline behind us, so we want to keep keep in mind our tail. Our tail's a little closer to the ground than we are. It's really no factor here um, since it's a very slight incline, but it's something you always want to think about anywhere, but especially when you're landing off airport on uneven terrain. Anyway, at this point, we're going to do the same thing uh, we did last time. Traffic uniform turning left crosswind, departing on the downwind. To roll top of the green, get as much into ground effect as we can, hovering inches above the ground. Top of the green, 26 is our max. I'm going to pull, max, get our climb over the obstacle, and over the obstacle we can make our turn, get our forward airspeed, and that was awesome. Very, very cool.